Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a little bit. I've just been busy. And with Christmas coming around, I, I make gifts a lot more than usual. 31 days of Halloween challenge always wears me out. So I don't have any videos I plan on doing afterwards unless I pre-recorded them during the 31 days of Halloween challenge when I'm like, you know, in the zone to be making videos. But I just been, you know, taking it easy. I've been working a lot. I have been focusing on my shop and not much cosplay related, even though I keep saying I know I I am, and uh, gaming a little bit than usual. So like I'm trying to make room for everything, and apparently I do a lot, a lot of things actually, and then I get overwhelmed, and then I just like I don't know what to do from here. But um. It is January 1st, so Happy New Year to all of you, and before that, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a splendid holiday all throughout the world. Uh, I was, obviously, I was lied to this year. I was told by my lovely parents that um, we're just doing stocking stuffers this year. Boy, was I wrong. No, in all honesty, they were focusing just stocking stuffers and then um, my dad had a taste of good deals and just couldn't help but splurge a lot. But um, I got a great new thing, it's awesome. Nonetheless, it is January 1st and you know what that means? New year resolutions. I know it's cliche for everyone to, you know, do a New Year's resolution and uh, try to commit to it for a year, but statistically it has proven that they usually stick it to like one month or two months and then they quit. I am part of that statistic. The last two years have been real crap because of our situation with the world pandemic and I had let it slipped in my life uh, then more than usual. Usually it's like once in a blue moon and then I'm like on track on things, but literally it's been slipping and I want to focus back on some things and get pretty much my life back in order in a way. I mean, nothing really has changed. I'm still a hermit that comes home from work and hides in the sewing area or the bedroom to game or to sew and listen to podcasts and whatnot, work when I have to work, go to cons when I want to go to cons. You know, I don't, nothing's really changed other than masks, really. But we're gonna talk about New Year's resolutions. And like I said, I want to commit them. So I'm just gonna lift off the 10. I know 10 seems like a lot, but trust me, they're like the little things. Cause we like, need to enjoy the little things in life. Oh, let me just get comfortable here. It's not really comfortable to do this on a gaming chair. My first year resolution is to try to make something for yourself every month, regardless of it's cosplay, something that I wear as an apparel or something for my shop. Just make something for yourself. This is going towards of like clearing out my stash I have a hard time of letting go of fabrics, but I have plans for every single fabric. Um, so I think I was doing a bit of downsizing my stash during the first year of the lockdowns and I just couldn't say no. Um, but I did find fabrics where I'm like, oh, I was planning on using it for this cosplay and I was planning on using it for this cosplay. And then I'd be like, oh, I was preparing to make leggings out of this. Oh, I kind of wanted to make a jacket out of this and that's why I bought it. So I'm honestly just like throwing money away when I'm not really being productive with the, the fabrics I'm using. So I'm trying to cut back and try to get through my stash. Plus I just really need to get back into the cosplay. I really wanted to cosplay some versions of characters and hence why I got the fabric. The second New Year's resolution is, which kind of goes towards with the first one, is to shop less. I, I get a high when I shop a lot. When I'm sad, I shop. When I'm really mad and I need something to calm myself down, I 
shop. Whether it's online or physically, I just end up shopping. And I shop a lot at work, and I shop a lot, kind of a lot on Amazon and a few other sites. But I just, I really need to like stop. Think about what I really need to buy in my life and try to not spend as much. Cause I have a bad habit of, I can buy this because I can. Not because I should, because I can. And so I really, really need to stop that. Number three, I did not know you were in here. Luke just popped out of my closet. Hi buddy, you're just gonna sit there and just watch me do videos. Just don't knock over any of my things. Um, number three is don't dip into my savings. I have a horrible habit of just putting money in my saving and then taking it out within like a day or so. Like I just, I just, I need to stop that as well because I'm trying to save up for something in the future and I'm not getting anywhere if I get just dipping into it. So uh, I'm gonna try to reframe from shopping, put money in the savings and just leave it. Learn to say no. Four is pay off student loan debt. I am doing that now actually. I just started doing it around October, November, November. It was November. I have been out of school for about five, six years and I have been on a wrap assistance, which is pretty much freeze my loan that I have to pay off until I'm ready to pay off. And because of the pandemic, they have eliminated the interest rate. So, a by month, I'm supposed to pay two dollars and thirteen cents. I I would love that. However, um, debt will always follow you, and I really want to just get it off of my conscience. Again, hence why I need to shop less because I really want to pay off my student loan. It's not much. It's a lot for me, but comparing to a lot of student loan debts of some people. It's not much, but if I pay the amount that I have pretty much edited, I should be done in about 10 years and I'm gonna stick to it. I really just wanna pay this off. Hopefully I do enough damage in the next year or so. I hope some of these so far are kind of promising because I know they're not like crazy, like I'm gonna play guitar or I'm gonna learn to skate. It's like real, personal goals that I want to share that I'm like really serious about these things and uh, I, I just want to commit to it. Number five, this was just an idea but I have my doubts. I, I want to do it at least once but I don't think it's going to happen for many reasons. I really want to do a spring garage sale. I've been thinking about doing a garage sale however uh, my garbage neighbors behind me, emphasis on the word garbage, they like to collect said garbage. So even if I put it out there to sell, I feel like it's not going to go to an actual home. It's just literally going to go to the back of my unit where garbage is or something like that. And my neighbors have like really sketchy people that come here. So I really just don't want to put things out there where they will fight or haggle or uh, be rude to me and cause a fuss and we're hoping they would be gone by the time this happens. So uh, depending on the situation, I will do it if they're gone. If not, then it's gonna be one of those pipe dreams. For six, I kind of started this a couple months early and uh, is to learn more recipes. I am a lousy cook. I have no patience for cooking. I rather bake than cook. However, if I do cook, it needs to be done within 20 to 30 minutes. I know, I, that's just how lazy I am. However, I want to just buy groceries to make home cooked meals because eating out is very costly. I know, I should have known this by my 20s or hell in my mid 20s. But it's just, I'm just, again, I'm very lazy and I always buy things on the go. But I have been, you know, actually making meals first 
for work and spreading out my leftovers so I'm not eating the leftovers the same day I kind of eat them like the day or two later but um, I mostly make a lot of my food I mostly make a lot of my meals for work and not been eating out much but I have tried a few new recipes I bought uh, a tasty cookbook from Amazon this is the one I bought uh, pretty simple I've tried uh, Corbin blue or blue like it's like a chicken wrap with cheese and ham and then I made recently zucchini meatballs I know I know it says zucchini meatballs but the zucchini is supposed to like replicate a meatball so that's why they put zucchini meatballs which was very tasty and Gabe loved it so that's why I really want to do some more recipes and then if I really like them then I jot down in my notebook that I would love to make again and then if it's really simple I'll write down the, the, the ingredients that I need to make said recipe. Seven. This is the big one and it's mostly the elephant in the room. Um, eat better and exercise. That's part of the reason why number six is to make my own home cooked meals and learn recipes is so that I don't eat terrible while I'm out. I shouldn't but I've been eating very terribly and I haven't been exercising I should be because of my hip um, but I haven't and I think everyone can agree on this like COVID hit a hit a lot of people with exercising uh, I just I need to get back into that by doing more walks and doing Pilates like I used to I really really need to get back on that um, some of my cosplays don't fit anymore. Went to a convention, well, like a Christmas market, but it was hosted by a person who does a, a local convention here. And I almost had a meltdown in the bathroom because the uh, cosplay I was wearing wasn't fitting me properly. And I, I, I know it's, I shouldn't worry, but it's. It sucks because I couldn't fit into it and it was one of my favorite cosplays to wear during the Christmas holidays. So I, I'm going to start doing some exercises for my hip. It should be good for my back and my lower back and I need to eat better and not uh, garbage food. Like this weight that I've gained needs to vacate uh, the premises. Number eight. Cut down on coffee. That's a joke. I'm not cutting down on coffee. I love coffee. It's it's never going to happen. But I will be drinking more water. What the heck just fell? Oh, one of my lipsticks just fell. I need to drink more water. I been expressing this a lot to my coworkers. I drank about three or four cups of coffee a day and it's that's not that's not good coffee's been taking a lot of toll on my body um and mentally uh so i think i'm gonna have only one cup of coffee during the day and pick up a tea it's more water i don't know if that makes sense to people but tea has more water than coffee i i find uh and bring this to work and drink it whenever I can because that's one thing I don't do is drink a lot of water at work. I should be, but I'm not. And for me to, you know, want to lose weight and exercise and start eating better, water is like the greatest thing ever for that. Helps you stay full, helps your skin to be hydrated, helps you clean out the body. Like it's just, it's good for everything. I just don't know why I just don't drink enough water and that's why I have the option when I'm streaming is to drink water or coffee and I always have water or coffee when I'm streaming on Twitch I used to be like what do you want me to drink water or coffee if they pick more water than coffee thank you that my followers are helping me with that my goal is to drink at least one or two of these a day yeah I know, I don't know how many, I don't think I've gone through one a day. I think I just drink like half or like three quarters of it. I know, it's really upsetting, it really is. Number nine is to set up a schedule for gaming and crafting. Um, because I do so much crap all at once, I, I need to have a day where 
I know I'm gonna craft on this day, and I know I'm gonna be gaming on this day, and I know I'll be, you know, doing other things on this day, but I think I'm gonna spread out my crafting and gaming, because I really love streaming on Twitch and getting back into the gaming community, but I also love crafting like a like the dickens, especially now that I have three tables in April, so I have to get my butt into gear, and um, so yeah, I need to really make a schedule, spread out my two favorite hobbies while I work, because I also work full time, so it's just, there's a lot, and make room for working out, but that might be a morning thing now because I'm getting into a routine where I like to wake up at like 7 in the morning or 6.30 and get like stuff done before I want to go into work. So that's that's a thing. Uh, my number 10 is to get rid of all the junk on my sun porch. I have so much crap on my sun porch. It's ridiculous. It makes me feel like I'm a hoarder. I'm not. I'm really not. I just I feel like uh, I miss garbage days or I... I I worry about my neighbors taking out the garbage that I throw out to be returned in the backyard. Um, so my goal is to have that sun porch like all cleared out so that I can have some space to like, I don't know, sometimes I like to sit on a couch on a sun porch and in the darkness and just like watch YouTube or I don't know, just be outside. Sometimes it's cooler to be outside than inside all the time. I don't know kind of a goal and I just want to have like an area for plants or like an area for like friends to come over and sit instead of sitting in my crappy small ass apartment like just make it nicer looking okay all right and for number 11 which is the bonus new year's resolution and that is to try to not bite my nails it's a bad habit I've been doing it a lot much more recently only because when I'm nervous, I bite. When I'm anxious, I bite. When I'm bored, I'm biting them off. Like, it's just any emotion that I feel, I go towards my nails. And I'm gonna try to um, not pick at my fingertips as much. But yes, I, I do want to stop doing that. Because my boyfriend just found out that I do that and uh, he was like, you shouldn't be doing that. And my brain's like, I know. Oh, I know. That's all my New Year's resolutions that I want to do. It seems a lot of personal ones, which is great. So uh, I want to, you know, stick to it. If you guys have any New Year's resolution of your own, um, either it's the same thing as mine or something a little different uh comment down below i really want to know what your resolutions are and hey maybe if you put one i might try that out too if you guys did like this video of my new year's resolution uh give this video a like and if you want to follow me and my other social media stuff all the links are down below in the description box as well make sure you subscribe to my channel to see further content i will be doing like making clothes for myself or things for my shop or cosplays, gaming videos. I did upload a reaction video of Life is Strange. I still have to do the other ones. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, bye.